Hi, my name is Amarachi Wanpa. I'm a family physician and there's a devotional thought I'd love to share with you today. First, let's read James chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. It says, Elias, or Elijah, was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit. Now let's think about the example of Elias. You know, sometimes I think about, is God really hearing me? Is God really answering my prayers? In the verse we just read, it said Elias prayed or Elijah prayed and God heard him. And Elijah prayed again and God heard him again. But did you stop and think about, what about that second prayer that Elijah had to give? Think about it, Elijah's on Mount Carmel. God has told him to pray for rain and he goes and he's praying and he sends his servant out to check to see if there's a sign of rain and his servant returns and he said, there's no rain. Now, you would think maybe Elijah would say, okay, God, maybe you got it wrong or maybe I didn't pray right, so okay, let's pray again. And Elijah prays again and he sends a servant out and again, the answer returns that there's no rain. Now, it's very interesting. Elijah had a decision to make. Elijah could say, you know what, maybe I got it wrong and I didn't understand what God was asking me to pray for or Elijah can continue praying and he chose to continue praying. Now Elijah had to pray seven times before the answer came. Do you ever think about what would have happened if Elijah stopped praying after the fourth time or the fifth time or the sixth time? What if he said, you know what, maybe God is upset with me, maybe I did something wrong and, and, and he just kind of just focused on what his insecurities and deficiencies were and stopped praying? that answer wouldn't have come. That verse in James that we just read wouldn't have existed because he would have stopped praying. Now, it's interesting that James doesn't say Elijah had to pray seven times and it rained again. It just said Elijah prayed. I wonder what was going on in the heart of Elijah when he was praying and the answer would come, no rain. And the answer would come and again, no rain. Now, I like to think that Elijah was probably thinking not about himself, but about God. He was thinking about his relationship with God. He was thinking about what God wanted to do for his people. And as Elijah's focus turned from himself toward God, it wasn't about the words that he used to pray. It wasn't about the, even the timing of the rain. He was sure that God would give an answer. And we know this because on the seventh time when his servant came back, his servant just said, I see a cloud coming out. It looks like the size of a man's hand. Elijah was so confident that that was the answer to prayer. He said to Ahab, you have to get going. The rain's about to come. You know, Elijah didn't wait till one drop fell before he told Ahab that. Elijah didn't wait until there was, you know, maybe an inch that fell on the ground to know that God had answered the prayer and had ended the famine. Sometimes in our own life, we're going through times of famine. We're going through times when we're, we're discouraged and we don't know what is going on. And sometimes we pray and we pray according to God's will. And we say, you know what, God, I think I'm praying according to what you want. And we don't get the answer that we want. And sometimes in those times, we get so discouraged that we stop praying. I believe what James is telling us here is that we need to keep on praying. He said Elijah was the man of like passions like we are. It's not because Elijah was better than us. When you see someone blessed, when you see God answering the prayer, it's not because someone did something better than you or was more obedient than you or that God loves them more. God loves each and every one of us the same, and he longs to answer prayers of his children. So I encourage you, maybe you've been waiting for that prayer to be answered. Maybe you've become discouraged and you've stopped praying. Be like Elijah on Mount Carmel. Continue praying. And again, you don't have to wait till you see the full fulfillment. You can go in faith knowing that God has heard, God has answered, and God will come through. God bless you.